Work is progressing on Victoria's new home of agricultural science, the $288 million AgriBio, Centre for Agribiosciences. Victorian Ministers Dennis Napthine and Peter Walsh got their first look at the building today in the company of representatives from the Department of Primary Industries, Plenary Research, GROCON and staff and academics from the building's home grounds of La Trobe University. I'm absolutely blown away by the skill of the constructors, the design and the overall project management which has delivered an outstanding project. This is a project that is really technically very difficult. It is a, and to have produced a project which is not only a beautiful building, but superbly functional and is at the leadership of the world in these uh, scientific research facilities, I think is an outstanding credit to all those involved. Oh, it's uh, absolutely a stellar opportunity for us, representing nearly $300 million worth of state investment in the facility uh, which obviously the Trove is a fully fledged partner. Uh, we have approximately one quarter of the investment in this building and one quarter of the staff around 100 of our personnel will be based in this building uh, as of next year. The building is designed to maximise the use of natural light and boasts a five star green star design rating. The facility also includes a sophisticated gas fired tri-generator which powers the building and is capable of feeding energy back into the electrical grid reducing the reliance on brown coal generated power. You've got a building that uh, really delivers in terms of low carbon footprint, low energy use and recycling as much material as possible. So that's a great outcome for a significant building. And uh, the other great thing here is a partnership between La Trobe University and the Victorian Government through the Department of Primary Industry working together on agricultural research, uh, agricultural uh, protection uh, that will really deliver uh, benefits for Victorian agriculture for decades to come. With state-of-the-art greenhouses, 70 controlled environment rooms and high-tech labs, the project will help put the state of Victoria at the forefront of international agricultural research. This is a world-class facility and to have it on you know, La Trobe's campus is just a, a wonderful opportunity for them to see state-of-the-art research, but also, of course, for our research students too. It will offer them terrific facilities to be doing their PhDs. We'll see DPI and La Trobe coming together to deliver outstanding research outcomes and to educate students uh, that will transform agriculture in Victoria over a 25-year period. So it's fundamental to uh, the building of La Trobe. AgriBio is just one of a number of building projects that have strengthened the profile of La Trobe University, including the La Trobe Institute of Molecular Sciences. AgriBio will open in early 2012.